Welcome to 245 Beacon Street. This building is an integrated science facility at the heart of Boston College's campus. Let's go check it out. Welcome inside. Each floor here features a full 360 degree layout with glass walls, which makes the space feel very open and collaborative, and I think makes the building look unique and cutting edge. Also, there's tables and chairs in each hallway, which is great to study for an exam or meet up with your peers to work on a group project. Additionally, there's private rooms which you can book for studying, meetings, and more. Directly across from the main entrance of the building is the Shea Center for Entrepreneurship. The Shea Center's mission is to provide students with foundational entrepreneurial skills as they prepare to follow their own career paths. Whether that's starting a business venture, launching a startup, or other more traditional management options. The Shea Center hosts a variety of programs throughout the year, from the elevator pitch competition, to the lab, to accelerate at Shea, to the Strakosh Venture Competition, all to give students real-world entrepreneurial experience. This year, I'm leading the Accelerator program, which is a nine-week curriculum for 12 undergraduate founders to actualize and execute on their startup ideas. The Shea Center hosts open hours throughout the year, and all of our programs are open to everyone from any school with any major at any time. So whether you're looking for funding for your startup, you're looking to get involved in one of our competitions, or you just want general entrepreneurial advice, come on in and see what we have to offer. Welcome to The Hatchery, one of our university maker spaces. This space is open to anyone in the BC community, no matter your major, background, or experience level. Seriously, all the team members are so welcoming and super friendly, and we all want to help you with your projects. You can do different trainings and workshops here, and then use those machines during open hours. Behind me, we have Hatchback. Here, there's more specialized tools and materials like laser cutters, resin 3D printers, and a wood shop. The Hatchery has become my second home here on campus, and I love the community that we've established here. Again, walking down the hallway, we can see the 360 layout of the space and the glass walls, which really give an open and collaborative feel. The classrooms are transparent and look into each other. I've never seen this place empty, and it's always bustling with students studying or working together, and I think that really shows how much this building is a hub on campus. On this side of the hallway, there's more classrooms and study spaces, including private rooms, as well as the CoLab, which is a collaboration between the Hatchery and the Shea Center. There's also the Data Visualization Lab, which is primarily used for the Earth and Environmental Sciences Department, but is also a resource for the entire BC community. Welcome to the third floor, home of the Human-Centered Engineering Department and Computer Science Department. As an engineering major myself, I feel really fortunate to have all of these new resources at my disposal. I love the human-centered approach that this engineering program was founded on because I think it really is going to prepare me as an engineer out in the real world trying to solve complex problems. All right, now let's check out some of the spaces on this floor. Right now, we're in the Academic Prototyping Studio, which is another one of our university-wide maker spaces. This space helps facilitate research and class projects and also houses our wood shop and other higher fidelity tools and machines. Right now, we're in one of the engineering classrooms and there's another one on the other side of the wall. In these spaces, students learn foundational engineering material which they take into their concentration electives for junior and senior year, which are in the areas of health, energy, and the environment. Some features of this room that I think are super cool are the see-through fume hood in the back here, which you can look into from the hallway, and also these whiteboard tables, which are great for writing up problems in class. At the end of this hallway is the computer science department. This program offers major, minor, and introductory core courses that all students can take. Also, there's a bridge connecting 245 Beacon Street with Higgins Hall, which is home to the physics and biology departments. The fourth and fifth floor of the building is home to the Schiller Institute for Integrative Science and Society. The Schiller Institute is designed to foster multidisciplinary collaborative research, pedagogy, and programs that address critical societal issues in the areas of energy, environment, and health. We're now in the convening room on the fifth floor. Dynamic spaces like these facilitate student collaboration and project work. Just a year ago, my friends and I presented our proposal for more sustainable game days in this very room for the Eagle Sustainability Case Competition. We worked with finance majors, econ majors, students majoring in environmental science, and even student athletes to design our plan to reduce game day waste. One of my favorite programs that Schiller runs is their delegation to COP, 
which is the International Climate Conference. This year, COP took place in Dubai, and I was lucky enough to be part of the delegation that comprised both undergraduate and graduate students. Unlike most other schools that send a lot of faculty members to present their research, BC really tries to encourage their undergraduate and graduate students. And this year, our cohort comprised of students ranging from engineering to theology. To share what we learned at COP28, we will be opening up the walls to this room and converting the space into an exhibit to invite BC students to engage with COP28 delegates and faculty. With programs and initiatives like these, the Children Institute truly fosters a space for students of all backgrounds to engage with its core areas of energy, health and the environment. Additionally, on the fourth and fifth floors, there are large write-up spaces that students can utilize to study and work on projects, as well as labs for advanced research. And last but not least, we're on the first floor of the building. Here, there's Tele Cafe, which serves Mediterranean-style bowls, sushi, coffee, and other grab-and-go items. You can order this at the kiosks over here or on the Get Mobile app and pick it up at the counter behind me. This space is a great place to hang out with friends or study, and there's also an awesome outdoor seating area. Down this hallway, there's more multi-purpose classrooms and other spaces like the computer science lab and digital studio. Down this hallway, there's the auditorium, which is used for large lectures and other events. Lastly, in the basement of the building, there's an open user clean room and nano fabrication facility, which is home to over 30 high-end micro and nano scale instrumental systems. It's so exciting having such an innovative new space on campus. This building really reflects BC's investment in the sciences and has become an integral part of the academic experience at Boston College. 